Hello and welcome to this review of Brandy San Luis. Introduced in 2018, it's aged at least three years. They say it's a blend of three to ten year age brandies that are, uh, it's going to class it between a VS and an XO, somewhere in that range. Um, it's not a cognac because it's uh, produced outside that region, but it's a French brandy. And uh, the owner of this company said that she negotiated with them to produce this for her company to, to have a suitable brandy for cocktails. And she developed it with the help of bartenders and said she was involved in the industry for a long time and um, was trying to do that. And she used an old 19th century label for this brandy. That's why she's trying to make it look old because she's trying to say mimic the style of 19th century brandies. All right, so let's check it out. First video review for this product in the world. Now there is a video uh, where they, a person interviews her. It's a 45 minute long interview video and that's where I heard her explain that uh, I'm trying to develop it in coordination with the bartenders. Okay, so nice foil cap. This was about $7 cheaper than normal at Savannah Discount in Marrero, Louisiana, which is on the northbound side of Louisiana Highway 45. Usually it's about $27. I was checking around at different online liquor stores or liquor stores with a website and uh, they say about $27 bucks and I got it for $20.99 $20 instead of $27.99. Okay, real cork. Real wood, no rubberized cork. Get that moisturized. Had to learn the hard way on that one. With that 1983 bottle of eight year age Wild Turkey 101. All right, let's check it out. Curious. I don't know if there's a, a spot for written reviews on distiller.com and Proof 66, but I'm gonna check on that. So. Nice looking product. Chestnut appearance. It's a little darker than that. Um, the one I had, the VVS. V V S O P. Very, very smooth old pale. The um Fleur de Lis, right? Fleur de Fleur de Lis French brandy, and I got that liter bottle for very cheap at Dorgnex. The price is going up. Oh, by the way, this is age this is up 43% alcohol, 86 proof, okay? So stronger than average. Yeah, that was Fleur de Lis Napoleon. That's right. That's what it was called. Fleur de Lis Napoleon BVSOP. It's spicy in the nose. Similar to the Martel that I had. I had the Martel VS and the Martel Blue Swift, and they had a spicy note. It's typical. Now, with some of them, like the Saint Remy VSOP, and I want to get the San Remy XO. I think that would be the next French brandy that I do. But the San Remy VSOP had sort of a turned fruit aroma. It was very nice to taste, but the aroma was almost like turned fruit. You sort of taste the sweetness on, on your tongue when you inhale the vapors. So just think of some wood, light oak, and some fruit like, well, it's grapes, of course. But almost dates or even the yellow raisins, I don't know. Cheers. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Spicy flavor. 
definite wood, like a dry wood, oak. A little chocolate. Nougat, like you would get in a Three Musketeers bar. <laughs> Tastes like a Three Musketeers bar. Um, you can feel the heat here. <sighs> Typical alcohol eggs, like little, like I say, little fence posts, fence boards. Um, little background bitterness, like a grape skin bitterness, something like that. Now, how's this going to do in taste tests against the Corbell California brandy, which is uh, very spicy also. That's 40%. The Martell VS, 40%. The Blue Swift, isn't? I think the Blue Swift might be 43 also. I have to check. I can't remember. <laughs> um, I think it'll be an even challenge for all of them. It just kind of... Now, the, of course, the, for, for price... The Corbell, Corbell is about fourteen ninety nine for a whole liter, so it'd be hard to beat that. Um, but anyway, medium body, that spice throughout, a little bitterness though. Sort of a lingering finish. It's designed for mixed drinks, which I never do, but uh, on its own, sipping it, it's got some uh, distilled grape character. If you're used to whiskey, it'd be much different. You may not like it, might throw you. <laughs> But when you think of brandy, just think of like grape whiskey. Sort of like the whole concept of like grape grape whiskey. The score. I'm trying to think of a score. I think I'll go with 91 out of 100. 9.1 out of 10. It's very nice. It's uh, in, getting into excellent. I think the bitterness at the end of the sip keeps it f out of the most excellent range. But sometimes these things can improve as you sip on them. I don't know how it's going to do in the taste challenges, but I certainly think it's going to be interesting. And I'm look, looking forward to those. So, Les Les Bon Ton Relais, an excellent French brandy. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana.